Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are on a road... Why do I keep saying we? I'm on my bloody own here. I'm on a road trip. I've come down south to Devon, about 120 miles, something like that. It's a two-day trip, overnight stay, and the first golf course I am playing is Portmore. It's just outside Barnstable. It's a course that I have driven past many times on the main road down below and we'll probably hear that as we go around that main road. And I look up and this is a heavily contoured golf course, which is what I love. I love a bit of challenge like contours, up and down, left and right, and that sort of thing. And it's always intrigued me and I've always said, I'm gonna play that one day. Well, one day is here. It's past 71, 6,000 yards. We've got reds, yellows, whites. There's a set of blues way back there, but I don't think I can use those. So I'm going to play the whites because the yellows are a little on the short side. I'm also testing balls today. Now the I play the 2018 Pro V1, the one in the gold box, remember those? Well, they're as rare as rocking horse shit now, so you, you just can't find them. So I'm going to have to uh, figure out a replacement for that ball. So I've got the Mizuno RB Tour. These are about £29 a dozen discounted and I've got the 2019 Pro V1 which is about £42. Um, that's the cheapest I could find online anyway, £42 a dozen. So the Mizuno's got a big head start already. Well, that's a lot better than the lift and chop of the first tee. They got a wonderful driving range here and I used it to warm up, but the lower back is a bit stiff today and so it's all a bit lift and chop. That was right down the banner. Can't see the bottom of the flag, so it could be 10 yards short, 10 yards long, but it was right down the banner. Dog leg to the right. I've got 239 to that bunker. So I'm just going to hit the three wood and see if I can put a little bit of a fade on it. But not important to fade it because it's, uh, it's not a long hole.
job done. Now the first two holes were only just over 300 yards as you could see and uh, under normal circumstances I would pull out the three wood for those two holes or even the five wood the, the first hole down the hill but um, I like to get the driver out early if I can I didn't want to slice it in the rough on the right, so I didn't. Well, that's what happens when your last thought on the tee box is a negative one. Like, I did not want to be over there in the right rough with the ball above my feet. We've had rain for three or four days, so this rough is pretty juicy. Now I'm making another probably poor decision. The good thing about a hybrid is it will get you out of the rough. The bad thing about a hybrid is when you're thinking, mm, I should only hit an eight iron here, the hybrid's going, hit me, hit me, hit me. So, um, hit me. Well, I hit it, and it did go further than the eight iron, but now I'm in the right rough. <laughs> anyway, stroke three. Let's see if I can get it up and down. <laughs> That is a really sloppy bogey and also a lucky bogey at the same time. <laughs> Bloody 12 feet short, what a muppet. A little bit too far safe to the left and I've hit those trees and it's spat it out to the right so we are in business.
can't beat a downhill par 3 can you? And I've got a downhill par 3. Wind's off the left. It's 140 but I'm, I'm still going to hit a 7 iron and because uh, I'm worried about the wind. Well that stroke one hole was uh, fantastic, there was even a ditch across in front of the green so um, it would have taken a really good drive to then hit a really good second shot to get over that ditch and onto the water, onto the green, no, onto the water, who am I, Jesus Christ? Anyway thank goodness for the chip and no it wasn't Spanish hands, that was Gloucester hands, that's where my hands were forged. Anyway I have got 180 over a lake to a lovely par 3. So it's time to STFU and GTFO with a par if I can. There's the trouble with gassing is sometimes you put yourself off. Look at this, I got uh, water in front of the green, water to the side of the green, and then water beyond the green. If I'd known that I would have probably shit myself on the tee. So before I get up to the ninth green, a little chat, end of part one, join me in part two. Not sure what I'm going to score because my game could fall apart at any second, as you can see. Uh, but I, you know, I'm hanging on with the wedge and the putter as usual. I mean, that's my game. Try and hit my driver straight, and then uh, do the scoring with the wedge and the putter. <laughs> 